an early morning in the western desert. Any morning, in fact, in the last months of 1942. Vic Vic squadron was a small unit in the great force which pursued Rommel across the wastes of Libya and is camped somewhere between El Alamein and Tripoli before the collapse of the Axis forces in Africa. As the blazing desert day begins, ground crews strip off the camouflage covers which hide the tank-busting hurricanes. The squadron has been moving forward for weeks now, a day or two here, and then on to a new place just like this, but nearer to Tripoli. The ground crews are always busy when the aircraft are not flying. They can only relax when the kites are away, and that can be a pretty anxious time too. This morning as usual, there is plenty of work to do on the Hurricanes, those wonderful all-purpose machines. The Hurricane started life as a fighter, and with the Spitfires, damaged the enemy mightily in the Battle of Britain. There are many modified fighter versions. Then came the Hurry Bombers, and now a new and formidable type, the Hurricane 2D, the Tank Buster. It is armoured with two 40mm cannons, slung under the main planes. These, the largest bore weapons yet fitted on any flying aircraft, weigh only 320 pounds. They fire two and a half pound shells, and the aircraft also carries two point three oh three machine guns, a devastating total of firepower. The Hurricane 2D is part of our answer to the German tank warfare technique, and a pretty sound answer too. We've got plenty more tricks like this in store, just waiting till they're wanted. Quite a lot of any man's time in war is spent waiting, waiting until he's wanted, waiting to go into action. The pilots rush out to the machines, engines burst into life. Chucks away, the can openers have a job to do, which won't wait. They taxi out. across the sand into the sky. Most of the tank busters pilots are old desert campaigners, for their aircraft were first in action in June 1942 after months of experimental work. In the first year of the Alamein offensive, they accounted for 19 enemy tanks, and during all the long triumphant pursuit, they have been doing brilliant work. Their job calls for skill and courage of a high order. Low over the desert they fly, low over the mechanized columns of our advancing army. climb to a great height to cross the dead ground between us and the enemy. Target below. Hurricanes peel off and swoop down to the attack. blazing now, finished, not clean out of the war by the tremendous power of fire from the tank buster's cannons. The job has been well done. And so the flight reforms and heads for home. For the little camp, which wherever it may be, is the center of the squadron's life.